Good morning, boys and girls. I'm happy to see you. Let's start our day as we do every day with our hands folded for prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Boys and girls, I want to start out today by talking about our religion lesson. If you remember, we are still in the holy season of Lent. And if you recall, we had talked about Lent being the season leading up to the holiday of Easter. Lent is 40 days long, and we would like to observe Lent by being extra caring and nice to our families. I know you're all stuck inside. So am I. That can be kind of hard. Make sure you get outside and play every day, and make sure that you're extra specially kind to your sisters and brothers and your moms and dads. But our story today talks about a boy named Justin and his first communion. On Saturday evening, Adam's family was in the kitchen preparing for a big family celebration. Everyone was getting ready for Justin's first Holy Communion. Justin, Adam's big brother, was so excited. After his first communion, Grandma, Grandpa, and all of his relatives were coming over to the house for a celebration. Wow, Adam thought to himself, this must be a really important day for Justin. But Adam was confused about what everyone was saying. But we go to church every Sunday morning, he said to himself. So why is tomorrow morning extra special? He decided to ask mom while she was taking the special cake they were making for tomorrow's party out of the oven. Mom, why is tomorrow so special for Justin? Mom replied, come over here and I'll explain. I want you to understand all about Justin's special day tomorrow. Mom went on. Tomorrow, Justin will receive Holy Communion for the very first time. Jesus gives himself to us in a very special way in Holy Communion. Holy Communion helps us to grow as friends of Jesus. And boys and girls, we've talked all school year about how Jesus loves us and we are all special friends of Jesus. Wait, Mom. Can I receive communion tomorrow too? Can I? I really want to, Adam asked excitedly. Now hold on, Adam, Mom said. You will get to receive Holy Communion when you are older, but not tomorrow. Justin had to learn all about Jesus and how Jesus comes to him in Holy Communion. And now he is ready to receive Holy Communion. Golly, Adam said, I think Justin is pretty lucky. I can't wait to receive my first Holy Communion. Mom smiled at Adam and said, Your day will come soon enough. Now help me decorate the special cake that we are making to celebrate Justin's special day. Boys and girls, I know several of you have older brothers and sisters who either already have received their first communion or are going to very soon. It's a really special time. I know Henry's brother, um, Elise's sister, so many of you have um, brothers and sisters who are preparing for their First Holy Communion. It's a very, very special time, and it's a special way for us to have Jesus dwell right inside our heart. Remember, boys and girls, Jesus Christ is always with you. He lives in your heart and he lives in mine. I'll see you soon.